Trades.com. Can show you a quick video on uh, continuing the Chat GPT and how you can get it to work for you in your trading. So, over Thinkorswim, now I'm going to show you how to do scanners using Chat GPT. So, you have to word it. You can't say make me a scanner for Thinkorswim because it'll just tell you if it's something that's um, kind of built into the system already. It'll tell you, you know, just how to do it. It won't write you the code. So, you have to tell it to write it in ThinkScript. So we're gonna go uh, make me a, whoops, scammer, uh, scanner in ThinkScript. Oh my God. ThinkScript that finds uh, stocks that have to gapped up off high volume. On high volume. Okay. Enter. Uh, see if it comes back proper. Gap size, percentage. All right. Uh, minimum volume. Okay, so this is an issue it has. I actually tell it to fix it, so I'll show you what the issue is and how to fix it yourself in a second. So I copy the code over to Thinkorswim and you know, say you're on your chart, you go up here to the scan. You'll have all this stuff uh, that's already kind of pre-built if you haven't messed with any of it. And you can either click out of it over here or you can change the variables. Um, I'm just going to get rid of all of them. What's this? Percentage change? Yeah, I don't care about that. And what you're going to do if you're going to put code in is you click add filter, go to study. It's going to automatically make this ADX crossover the study. And there's a million of these that you can mess around with, but we're going to mess with that. Uh, you're going to come over to this pencil on the right hand side, click on that. And at the top, go to think script editor, select all this ADX stuff, and then you're going to control V and put in the code that you had. So this is something I've seen it does a lot. It tells it scan and it high equals, and then it tells the variables that it's looking for. And you can't have that in a scan. It has to say plot scan equals. Let's plot scan and then delete this high because we don't need that. Let's see if it works. Um, plot scan equals gap is greater than gap size and volume check. Okay, what am I missing? Gap. It tells us what a gap is. Is greater than gap size. Um, gap size. Oh, gap size 2.0. And volume check. What the heck is volume check? Equals volume is greater than volume average times the volume multiplier. Oh, I see what I did. I put two L's in plot. Double check your spelling. Yeah, so now it's going to work. So click OK. Scan. And you see it pulls up all these tickers. I'm going to go for something a little bit lower. Uh, it hasn't gapped down as well. Actually, let's just go to ADXS. And this, this is looking in the daily ag aggregation. You can change that if you want. Um, so I'll go to the daily chart and we'll see if this actually pulled up a gap up on high volume. And then this obviously sold off afterwards. So ADXS. Ended here, gapped up, high volume. So yeah, so if you wanted to adjust this um, for some, finding something that gapped up and kept ripping, then you could you know just tell ChatGPT to do that. It's, but this, yeah, for sure, gapped up, but then sold off super hard, and there was most definitely above average volume. So anyways, quick little video for you guys on how to do it. Um, also, if you know once you're done, you're happy with the results and everything, you can come over here. Uh, right next to this fire symbol and click save scan query and you can name it you know whatever you want but that's my video on that i'm going to do a few more videos on things you can use uh, chat gpt for so definitely like and subscribe <music>